Hey guys, Gaston here. Welcome to another video. Before getting into the topic of today, I want to tell you, as I've been telling you, the registration for the forehand week is open. You will see the link here in the description. So after you watch this video, before you watch it, I recommend you after because it's going to be great what we're going to be covering today. Click the link there, register for the forehand week. Guys, I'm serious. You, you can miss it. If you like the way I work, if you like the way I teach, if you like my philosophy of tennis, of building plays with resources and from less to low, there's no magic tricks. Everything is done with work and consistency. You have to get there. You're going to love it. All right. It's going to be all about it on the forehand. Click the link, get in. And now, yes, let's go into today's topic. <laughs> So for today, we're going to be covering the high backhand slice. Is it different from the normal slice? Yes, it's different. The normal slice, you probably get it from under the level of your, I mean, from the level of your knees, maybe sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little higher, but it's a ball that what? You're going to play more linear. Sometimes you even get it from the height of your hip. But the idea of the ball is to go linear, low, and with a low bounce. On this one, you play it in two situations. I mean, I played a lot in one situation. Actually, three days ago, I was giving lessons. Probably if he's watching the video, he will know. I was giving lessons to uh, trainings, actually. I'm training for, for a couple of days, a player here, a senior player. Um, and we were working on this. When you get to the defense here outside, okay, you get the ball from, this is a slice that you hit from your, sh your shoulder and above. And what you want on it is to go cross court, close to the net, so it, it's kind of like it's gonna, gonna kind of like make like a small banana. It's not gonna be like a banana shot, but the ball is gonna be so low and so to the side. It's so annoying, so annoying. I, I mean, I'm telling you, when I was when I was coaching the, the players playing futures and I was playing point with them, I used to use the shot to make them, you know, get pissed off because it's so annoying. So. That's one of the situations that you're using, okay? You're playing here, they open you high ball with the tip of the racket, you will take it to the side. And the other one is when you get into the return of serve, you split, you turn, it's a kick serve that high, has a high bounce, then you put the ball down with a slice, all right? Let's take, a look for, let's take a look of a couple of balls that I'm gonna hit from different drills from the baseline and with the return of serve and then we talk a little more about this. So this that I show you there was just a simple drill that I use. I used to use as a player, I used to see coach. What this is gonna do is build what you need. A lot of strength on your entire shoulder, behind, in front, okay? And a lot of balance for you to make the split, okay? Step, hit and fall. Step, hit and fall, okay? It's a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, turn, three, fall, all right? It's a one, two, three step, and I wanted to show you that drill because it's probably one of the best ways to train it. You're gonna finish very tired here, but this is how you build the strength to then be able to control tough balls and very quick and fast balls, and also heavy, to control the ball down there, all right? So now, yes, I'm gonna show you from the other side more hitting it so you can see where the ball goes. Also, very important that you understand that you, you're gonna get the ball almost from the, from the nine. If you get it from behind, the ball is gonna go to the middle. If you get it from above, almost like an 11, 12, the ball is gonna open too much. So you will have to handle yourself to get the hand from, from around, to round it from the nine, and then instead of just 
making the run with the hand, you will get from kind of like close, let me show you here, kind of like close around with the nine, and then the racket goes down. That is gonna give the, the bite on the ball that you need to control it to open, and once it bounces, it keeps opening. That's what it makes it so tricky. So there you could see the difference how when the ball gives me a space and doesn't push me to put the leg in front and throw all the weight into the ball better because then you will have a better angle to hit it from outside and the one that I showed you before where you do the, the frontal step that's more for like a, I mean if, if they push it too much that you have to kind of like reach but that will be 90% of the times on the return of serve height on your backhand where you make the a split step, take it, fall, and then recover to be ready for the point. When you're playing in a normal point, most likely you will have the time to do like I did. Put the leg in front and throw all the weight into the, into the ball. All right, so you can see there the two different ones. Now let me show you how the ball landed from the other side. All right, so there you saw the drill that I show you. Just to make a quick recap, the drill that I show you, hitting, okay, the high ball, fitting it close to me to replicate what you do on, a, on the return of the serve. And then you saw the normal drill doing it from the baseline, hitting the ball where you kind of had the time to put the leg in front, throw the weight of the body to the ball. To open the course is a great resource when you get force in there, all right? So that was it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, click the link below. Go check it out, the forehand week. I would love to see you there. It's amazing what I prepared there for you guys. 100% free and online. Click the link and register. I'll see you on the next video on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.